What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my little beautiful wife right here... I'm not little. ...are bringing you guys great <laughs> tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully ignite, entice, and enhance your relationship to a whole new level. And if you're not in a relationship, don't worry. This will set you up, hopefully, for a future successful relationship with your partner. All right. So let's get into this week's topic. So every week, me and my wife are bringing you guys topics that either we come across with somebody that we know or something that we've had in the past, like, you know, or we went through. Um, so this week, you know, I, I got some inspiration from somebody that I was talking to. But, oh, boy. Yeah. yeah I'll but, tell me the story later. Yeah, but, you know, I'll tell you the story now. I ain't going to say his <laughs> name. But, um, you know, I, I started talking to him yesterday and stuff like that, and he, you know, he brought up some points, you know. Um, why affection is very important to give, right? Mm -hmm. When you're in a relationship, when you're dating, uh, when you're married, all these things, you know, when you're going through these these times, right, with your partner, it's really, really important to keep showing affection. No matter if it's the first date or you're 20 years into a relationship yeah. or marriage or whatever it is. And, you know, over time, you know, things might dull down a little bit, right? Um, you know, it's not the honeymoon phase and, you know, you guys have your busy lives and routines out there. And, you know, sometimes you might forget about the affection portion, right? Um, and, the, you know, the touching or, you know, the emotional relationship too as well because that goes along with affection. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about this, we talk about affection. And this is giving to your partner, whether it's a kiss, a hug, you know, a talk to, right? You know, because emotional affection can happen too as well mm -hmm. when you're complimenting them or talking to them about something nice about themselves. Um, so it's really important. And this gives your, your your partner confidence in the relationship, in you. That you still love them. Yeah, Or right? you still think that they're sexy or you yeah. still think that they're hot, you know. Well, they don't have an expiration date. Yeah, I don't have an expiration date. John needs to tell me that. <laughs> I, I mean, uh, I personally like when John just, you know, just barely just pinches my butt when I walk by. It's yeah, cute. And I'm yeah. like, oh, you, you still love me? You, yes. think I'm, you think I'm sexy? You know, it also <laughs> has your partner that, yeah, you're thinking about him, right? You know, it's not just, oh, bye and see you later. Um, you know, so when I was talking to this person, he was telling me about his relationship. And he was saying, that, you know, he's married. He's been married for over 20 years. Uh, loves his wife and everything like that. But the wife doesn't show him any affection, right? Hasn't shown him affection in years, right? right? And so we were talking because he was going on some therapies and mm. such. And when we were talking about the therapy, I told him because he wanted to go on testosterone replacement therapy, hormone replacement therapy. He's over 50 years old, right? His levels are low, right? And he's doing everything right now, exercising properly, nutrition properly, sleeping. He's doing all these great things. He's got a business going for himself and the whole nine. Very proud of him. But he wants to take it to a different level. He wants to feel better every single day. So at that point, he did the blood testing. It showed low levels, came with the provider. Now he wants to go on hormone replacement therapy. He started, bam. He started, right? And I told him, I said, He's listen. He's ready for some bam, bam. In two weeks, right, <laughs> your engines are going to be revved up. You're going to turn the back the clock on the internal side, and you're going to feel like you're in your 20s, man, maybe early 30s, whatever it is. But you're going to feel revved up, whether it's libido action, physically, right, uh, with maybe more directions or all these things that are going to come along with it. And you're, you're going to want some relationship. He's going to need with some your affection. You're going to need some affection. He's going to um, need more than affection. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, you know, with that, you know, the, the, the partner just doesn't want to do anything with him. Like, you know, like, he's like, you know what? He's like, I don't know what to feel, I don't know what to say about this or feel like it. It feels like it's just a, a partnership, right? We, oh, that been, gets tough, We've been too. married for 20 years, and we have all these things attached to each other. So it's almost like a business relationship, and it's not even like, you know, a loving marriage anymore, right? So, you know, I, I feel for him. I'm like, man, I'm like, you know, this sucks. I'm like, you really, you know, he's trying to go out of his way to do the right thing and, and be right by her and everything like that. But there's certain things that people need, right? Humans that were put on this earth, we have needs of, 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 of things, right? Whether it's relationships or... Need to be cared or about, love, feel love, important. Right? You want to be. Right. Not everybody gets that, but the people that do, like, they want it, right? Everybody, I think, searches for that. Everybody has a, a romantic... Uh, fantasy of some sort of who they want and how they want to be treated out there. So with this, you know, I told the guy, I'm like, listen, I'm like, you got to, you know, do what you're going to do. But I was like, you know, remember. Communication. And, communication. But if you communicate this to your partner and they're not reciprocating or don't want to yeah. reciprocate, then what are you going to do, right? Because, you know, my thing to him was, I said, listen, you know, you have one life, right? So if you go through the rest of your life and you're 50 years old right now, say, let's say you got 25 good years left and you're going to die at 75, wow, maybe 30, time. 80, right? That's a good time there. It, 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 you got some good amount of time left in your life, right? And 
you want to make sure that while you can do these things and live right and give 100% in all aspects, that you're able to do this and you're going to enjoy life. So that's the other thing about it, right? You got to talk to your partner and say, listen, you know, this is the main complaints or this is what we really have to fix because this is how I'm feeling. And like I said, they should want to, you know, reciprocate or some way, shape or form, communicate back to you on maybe what they can do or what can happen. Because some people, you know, they have health problems or health issues and they can't perform different things. Right. Um, so but that, that's where other things come into play, though, right? Aspect, I mean, yeah. it's not all physical. I mean, as soon as you hear affection, you think like physical. Yeah. It's not all physical. It's definitely mental and being able to connect with them, sure. talk with them. For sure. You know, you're putting time aside for them. Like even carving out time for them is technically giving them affection because you're showing them, hey, you're important and you know, I, I want to know how your day went or whatever it is. And me personally, I have some like solid rules, right? And you guys should have solid rules too, right? And they're, they're such, they're the smallest, like itty bittiest rules, but they're rules, right? And every once in a while I, I miss the rule and, I, I, and it makes me think, especially since John usually falls asleep before me, um, you know, one of the rules is I, I always give him a kiss goodnight. You know, like it's unless he's already sleeping, then I'm like, oh, well, miss that boat. But typically it's like, you know, always give me a kiss that night. Hey, I love you. Give me a kiss that night. Right. Same thing in the morning. You know, hey, I love you. Give me a kiss in the morning. It's just a rule. And that's my rule. Right. So that everybody else, you can make up your own rule of like, OK, every day I'm going to do this one thing and I'm going to dedicate to remember to do this one thing. It could be something as small as that. And you're showing them like, hey, listen, I love you. I still care for you. It needs to be a real kiss, not like a just a, a fake kiss. You know, the fake. I know you guys know what fake kisses are. You know, and when you're out in public, you hold hands. And, you know, if you're in bed, maybe snuggle or, you know, these little things that, you know, th that you do, I think makes a huge difference in a relationship. Huge. Yeah. It's small, small things, yeah. small things. The minor things uh, make big details. That's all I like to say. It. Oh. You know, small things add up to a big result, right? So it's important every single day that you're doing these things. And if you forget one day, listen, make up for for the next day, maybe a double, right? In the morning, <laughs> maybe at night, whatever it is. And show an affection, like it could be cooking dinner too as well. Mm -hmm. It could be getting flowers. You know, it could be taking them to a special place that maybe you and them share. And it doesn't have to be anything fancy. It doesn't have to be a lot of money, right? And it's just something that you're doing that's genuine from your heart, from your soul. And that will come across to your partner, I, I think, in, in more ways than one. And they'll really appreciate these things. And like I said, hopefully they'll reciprocate right back to you. And that will make you feel better too as well. Write him a letter. And that, that brings both Write people Write him a up. note. Leave him a love note. Anything. Anything. Anything to start, right? It could be anything. Bring them, bring them food. Pick up after them. Do some laundry. Yeah. It's the little things that, you know, you might take for granted. But then you realize, oh, yeah, you know, I appreciate that. Like, I love that about him or, you know, her or whatever it is. I do believe, though, like, you know, physical touch is, is going to be a key it's thing. It's definitely when I'm a key. About this. Yeah. Affection, like I said, can be emotional. You can talk about it and all these different things. But true touch, right? And that doesn't mean you have to have sexual relations. But that is like, you know, you hugging, you kissing, um, you holding hands, right? Or uh, scratches or, back. Or cuddling or whatever. Or whatever massages makes feet. You, makes you guys feel good. <laughs> yeah, see, these are, these are different things. So you see, uh -huh. these are the secrets. You guys want to know the secrets? Yeah. Just scratch his back. Yeah, yeah. scratch my back. Yeah, he's uh, going to love that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I do this all night. <laughs> <laughs> but we're in a limited time, so. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> that was easy. So, guys, remember these tips and tricks and, you know, Put them in the back of your brain, write them down somewhere, put them on a voice memo so you can replay them and you can, you know, get all these things down. So when you do get in your relationship or if you're in a relationship right now, you can start adding these things in the relationship, hopefully, or maybe you're not in the situation that we've talked about, but maybe you might be there in the future. And then when you get to that point, you'll be able to bring these tools out of your tool bag and be able to use them the right way. And you'll have hopefully a successful relationship. Um, be loving, be happy, and uh, you and your partner will have a great time together too. So that is it for our Cupid's Corner. We're coming at you guys every Sunday, 11 a.m. on ABC. If you don't get to watch us live, DVR it. And if you don't do that, make sure you guys are going over to YouTube. You guys can check out all the cool Cupid's Corners there and a lot of other cool content that we have from Titan Medical Center. And if we can help you guys out in any way, shape, or form, with relationships, libido, or anything else, please call or text us at 727-389-3220 and we'll be happy to get you guys back on track, feeling better, looking better, and performing better. I'm down. Let's do it. All right, guys. <laughs> so I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you guys next week on the Cupid's Corner. See you then.